Welcome everybody to another game with Right Start Mathematics. Today's game is concentrating on six, and this was actually requested by Andrea. So Andrea, this one's for you. This is game F19 from the Math Card Games book, written by Dr. Joan A. Cotter. I'm your host, I'm Kathleen Cotter Lawler. All right, first thing, let's look at the objective. What's our, what are we trying to do with this game? We're gonna practice mentally adding simple fractions. And we're gonna work with six. So I've got one sixth, two sixths, which is the same thing as one third, three sixths, same thing as one half, four sixths, which is the same thing as two thirds, and five sixths. So we're gonna work with the six. So we're actually looking at a series of the one sixth, one third, one half, two thirds, and five sixths. We're going to be using the fraction charts with manipulatives. You can either use the, the, the regular fraction chart or you can use the slightly smaller laminated one that comes with your math card games kit. They both work, pick the one that works for you. We're gonna be using the fraction cards like these. You only need 12 of the deck. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna look for four halves, four of the one half cards, two each of the one six and five six, one third and two thirds. So I'll end up with a total of 12 cards. Two people are playing this game. Our object of the game is to be the first player to collect the cards in order to build their chain. And some of you are going, what's a chain? I'll show you when we get playing here. So the two chains, one is gonna start with one third, the other person's gonna start with two thirds. Both of these, once I have my starting cards, we're gonna add one half to it and then continue from there. We know we're done with our chain when we come up with another one half. This is also a memory game, so we're gonna lay our cards face down and then turn them over looking for the card that we need for our chain. So let's play it, I'll show you what I'm talking about. I have all of my 12 cards laid face down. We have two people playing this. I'm gonna have one person here and one person here. And we're gonna build a chain. Remember, one person is starting with the two thirds, would have to be this person, and we have the other person start with the one third. Remember, both are adding one half once they find their starter card. So we're gonna start over here with this person. I turn over a card, oh, right there we go, two thirds. Like any memory game, if I found a card, I get another turn. So I'm looking for a one half. Nope, not what I need. Now it's this person's turn. And we're gonna turn over a sixth. Nope. Now it's this person's turn. I don't need a one third, but who does? This person. So I'm gonna turn it over. Now it's this person's turn. Here's my one third. Put right here so you can see it. Now we're both looking for a one half, but remember, because left hand here found a card, I get another turn. And by the way, I don't know where these cards are. So this is truly me playing a game. I might've picked that already. All right, now it's right hand's turn. Now, obviously, you're not gonna have your right and left hand play. You're gonna have your one child and your other child. Okay, well, this is my right-handed child. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna put this here. Now, in the interest of space, I'm gonna stack mine. You would do it like this and you'd keep going and you're gonna have a total of six cards. I'm gonna put mine like this so that I can conserve space. So it's still right hand's turn, but I need to first figure out what is two thirds plus one half. Let's look at our fraction chart here. So I have two thirds plus a half. Well, let's look at this. Two thirds is the same thing as four sixths. And one half is the same thing as three sixths. So I have four sixths plus three sixths is gonna be seven sixths. So if I had another one here, it'd be seven sixths. So that'd be the same thing as one and one sixth. 
So we're going to disregard the whole numbers here, and I just am going to look for the one sixth. So if I'm adding my two thirds plus my one half, two thirds plus one half is the same thing as four six plus three six, which would be seven six, which here's six, seven six. So I'm looking for one sixth. Okay, let's keep going here. So it was still right hand's turn. I'm looking for a one sixth. And I found a one third, not what I needed. Left hand's turn. So I'm looking for a one half, because remember it's one third plus one half. There we go. And now we need to figure out what we need over here. One third plus one half. Again, let's look at our chart. So I have one third, also known as two sixths, plus one half, three sixths. So what's two sixths plus three sixths would be five sixths. And if you guys were paying any attention whatsoever, do you know where the five six is? I think it's right here. Yes. Okay, now I need to calculate what's next. What's one half plus five sixths? One half is the same thing as three sixths. I've already got five sixths. So if I've got five sixths plus three sixths, It'd be the same thing as eight sixth. So here's six, seven, eight sixth. That'd be the same thing as two sixth, which is the same thing as one third. So I need to have, I'm looking for a one third now. No, it's still left hand's turn. Let's look for a one third. I'll try right here. That's a half. Okay. Turn is over with. Now it's right hand's turn. And if I remember right, let's see, I gotta go double check. Cause see, I've got double duty cause I have to add them all up myself here. So I've got two thirds plus one half. So two thirds is four six plus three six, seven. So I'm looking for one six. And I found it. Okay. One half plus one six. Use the chart as much as you need to to help the child. So I've got one half, three sixths plus one sixth. So I've got four sixths, which is also known as two thirds. Okay, so I'm looking for two thirds. Um, I think I'm gonna look right here. Nope. So now it's left hand's turn. We have one half plus five sixths. Either use your chart when necessary, or I happen to remember or know that this one is one third. I'm gonna try this one. Oh, there we go. Still my turn. Five sixths plus one third. This is also known as two sixths plus five sixths would be seven sixths which is the same thing as one and one six. So I'm looking for a one six. Might be here. Let's try it. Oh, way to go. So I have two six plus one six would be three six, also known as one half. I think this is a one half. It is. I'm done. I came, I ended up with my one half. So in this case, left hand one. Now, just in the interest here, let's just finish this so you know what it looks like. So I had one half, which is three six, plus one six is four six, same thing as, double check if you're not sure, four six right here is the same thing as two thirds. So I'm looking for two thirds, there we go, plus two thirds, two thirds is also known as four six, so four six plus one six would be five six. I think that's right here. Yes, it is. And let's see, this card should be the last one, but let's double check and do our math here. So I've got two thirds plus five six 
The other name for two thirds is four sixths. So four sixths plus five sixths would be nine sixths, which would leave me with three sixths because I want to remove the one. So I have three sixths, which would be also known as one half. And sure enough, here's my one half. So that's how we play the game. Remember as you're playing it to have the child use their fraction chart. Sometimes to us what seems so easy is something that needs to be explored by using the chart. It helps the children understand how it's all connected. So once you get the sixth under control, we can continue this whole concept and do the game F20 concentrating on eights. So here we're going to work with the one eighths, two eighths, known as one fourth, three eighths, four eighths, one half, five eighths, six eighths, also known as three fourths, and seven eighths. Same concept. Now here what we're going to do is we're going to have four possible chains. And you all start with one half, but then one chain will start with the one eighth, another one starts with three eighths, another one starts with five eighths, and you can start out with seven eighths. There's not enough cards in the deck to play all four chains at the same time, but you can pick any of the two or three to do at the same time. The end of the chain is gonna be another one half. This one actually has seven cards per chain, whereas concentrating on six only had six. So that's what we've got. Andrea, I hope this helps you and I hope this helps everyone else. Enjoy the game and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, everybody.